Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to a brand new Minecraft video. Now today's video is interesting because in today's video, we're going to be focusing on what is coming to Minecraft next. And in particular, what is coming in 2017. There's two reasons I'm focused on this, pure and simply down to curiosity. The second thing is, Minecraft to me definitely needs to change. Now it has been confirmed by Jeff that they are working on 1.12. We really don't know what this 1.12 update is focused on, but the question that I'm asking Mojang and Minecraft now is, what is going to be the next boss battle? Now to be specific, I only think there's only two bosses in Minecraft. You've got the Wither Boss and the Ender Dragon. You can kind of class the Elder Guardian as a boss battle, but for me in particular, I kind of feel that it's quite easy compared to the other two. So specifically talking about the Ender Dragon, the Ender Dragon battle itself was introduced in around about 1.0, which was an incredibly long time. Now, I, although I still love the Ender Dragon, and I still love the Ender Dragon battle, to me, it's kind of outdated. Now, over time, they have brought changes to this, whether it be rebirthing the Ender Dragon, whether it be shooting its projectiles. The Ender Dragon has changed over periods of time, but it's still known as an Ender Dragon battle. And again, it was introduced many moons ago. Now, to me, the second boss in Minecraft is, of course, the Wither Boss. In particular, I kind of feel like the Wither Boss is a little bit harder to deal compared to the Ender Dragon. Um, it's kind of harder, in my opinion, to, to, to deal with this because you have to go to a different dimension in order to get the resources, in order to fight it. And of course, spawning the Wither Boss is exactly like this. Now, this was introduced in around about 1.4.2, I believe. It was introduced a very long time ago. Now, Minecraft has come a long way, and I do understand that the development of Minecraft definitely did slow down while Mojang was being taken over by Microsoft. Now, I'm going to take my hats off and say Microsoft have done an incredibly good job. But I feel the development of the game specifically hasn't been as great. Now, Minecraft back in the day, the main focus was bringing new updates, giving the players something that they enjoy. And at this current point with Microsoft owning it, I feel like the main focus is sales. I mean that they've specifically focused on the console version and pocket edition version, and that is purely down to sales, which is kind of understandable, especially when you spend 2.5 billion on a game. Now, I want you guys to leave some comments down below on what you think the next boss battle should be in Minecraft. I've got a couple of blocks here and a couple ideas in my head on what we could specifically see for an update in Minecraft. Now we have three dimensions. We have the overworld, which is what we're in right now. We have the nether, which of course is created with obsidian um, layout plus with flint and steel. And we also have the end dimension. I would definitely love to see a new type of dimension introduced to Minecraft. Now I definitely think this is possible to be introduced and I definitely think in the future future, this would be something that we definitely see. But as for spawning a different mob, well, as you all know, if you're a fan of the Minecraft story mode, there is actually a recipe for spawning the Witherstorm. Now, the Witherstorm, I don't think Mojang and I don't think Telltale expected it to be so popular. And of course, spawning it was kind of like, oops, like, um, I can't get up there now. Well, basically, spawning it was like this style, and this would generate a, um, a Witherstorm, which was... It was kind of like exactly the same way as the Wither, but on a larger scale, the Wither Storm literally ripped apart the land, and I just feel like the Wither Storm would be a great addition. Now, I don't think it's going to happen because to me, it's kind of like a mythical creature within the Minecraft story mode. It's going to stay in story mode. It's not going to make its way to Minecraft. But on saying that, guys, right? The Minecraft story mode also has things for Minecraft. Well, of course it has things for Minecraft, but I'm talking specifically about the Far Lands. Now, the Far Lands were introduced in Minecraft PC a long time ago. It's still available on Pocket Edition, but the Far Lands made it from Minecraft into the story mode. So why can't the Witherstorm make it from the story mode into Minecraft? Now, some other recipes that we have for spawning entities uh, with blocks could be, for example, the Iron Golem. Maybe, maybe there could be some kind of enemy made with this. I really don't know. Maybe it could be a diamond block. Maybe it could be an emerald block. Um, because specifically, you really don't use emerald blocks. As you guys know, if you're creating a beacon base, you're using iron. 
if you're creating um, an iron golem, you're using iron. So it could be gold. Well, then again, gold is kind of used for golden apples. So I definitely feel like an emerald block should be some kind of useful thing. Now, I've been doing a little bit of research, specifically about Minecraft modded boss battles. Now, there's actually a mod out there that gives you the ability of having something called a hydra. Now, you could definitely spawn the hydra like this. Maybe you had to throw some kind of lingering potion on it to spawn it. But the hydra is kind of like a three-headed dog, I believe. Um, I think I can kind of remember this from Harry Potter. Uh, but here's a picture to show you guys a, a basic example of what I'm talking about. Here is a hydra picture. Again, this is a modded boss battle in Minecraft, but it's definitely something that could be introduced as a Minecraft feature because there has been mods out there that developers have thought, you know what, that's a good idea. Let's introduce it to the game. If you guys didn't know, horses were actually ported from Mo Creatures into Minecraft from a modded um, creator, which is it's quite inspiring. The other thing I want to show you is this picture. Now, this is, I'm pretty sure it's called an elemental, um, and it's another kind of boss battle within Minecraft. It's kind of full of lava. How would you craft this? I'm not entirely sure. The only idea I could come up with crafting that type of thing would be with, um, let's just say we had a, a bucket of lava. And maybe you had to have it like, I don't really know how you would spawn this without, maybe it had to be like, so. in fact, you know what? Maybe it could be, yeah, maybe it could also be with soul sand, but you had to like, I don't know, put a pumpkin on there and you had to put like lava in there. I don't really know. There's, there's tons and tons of recipes that could be inspired for boss battles. But I definitely feel Minecraft does need a new boss battle because it's been a long time. To me, there's only two bosses and that's the, uh, the Wither Boss cat slash kind of Wither style. And of course, you've got the Ender Dragon being the Ender Dragon head here as well. So yeah, guys, I want to see your ideas in the comments section. What type of boss do you think they should introduce? How would you spawn it? The other thing I want to talk about is, of course, the dimensions. Because the only way we have dimensions now, let's just grab myself some flint and steel. The only dimensions we have here are, of course, the end dimension and the nether. And, of course, doing another one is, as you all know, like this. With the flint and steel. And then you go inside there. There's one portal. And then, of course, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oops, that's four. Three, one, two, three. Oops. And then, of course, um, you'd have to put these inside of here in order to go to the end and, of course, fight the Ender Dragon itself. So you can see that these, you know that these are two different dimensions. They've been around for a long time, but maybe the Hydra could be in a dimension that was kind of like, I don't know, like this type of dimension, you know? Like, I don't really know. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. Um, or maybe it was made out. Let's have a look at what other blocks we've got here. I'm just thinking of ideas of mobs that, that we could go and see. Um, maybe it was out of glowstone. Maybe glowstone could be a good thing. Is there anything else that's kind of like a hard block to obtain? That takes a little bit of time to obtain. Maybe it could be out of... Maybe it could be red nether bricks. Maybe it could be out of shulker shells. There's, there's tons and tons of blocks in the community, but maybe it could be out of this, you know? Like, you never ever really know what the developers have planned in these specific updates. But yeah, I think that would be a pretty cool thing as well. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. It's kind of... Just a little bit of a discussion, kind of wanted to focus on where, which direction is Minecraft going in because 1.12 is in development. Jeb said he's not quite ready to share it just yet, but it's been in development for a little while. He has showed previews of things that we could possibly expect. But if you did enjoy this video and you would possibly like me to bring you guys some previews of modded creatures, then be sure to thumbs it up. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time.